What's up, everybody? Welcome back to episode number 17, I think, I hope so, of our Hogwarts Legacy journey. Uh, not sure what all we're going to do today, but I know we have this quest that we have on the agenda. It's called The Headmistress Speaks. It's a main quest mission. So we'll go ahead and do this one and then see where it leads us the rest of the way. I hope you're all enjoying the series. It's a lot of fun so far. And I think we're getting closer and closer to the end. Welcome back. Thank you, Headmistress Naom Na Naim Fitzgerald. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Very well. Sneaky, sneaky. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. That was an easy quest. We've got to sneak I into the headmaster's office. Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. Yeah, where is Fig Newton at nowadays? I haven't seen Mr. Figgy What's in forever. Now? Let's go meet with Professor Fig Newton. Figgy boy, where you at, Fig? Fig Newton? Oi, can you help me? Dude, this Arthur Plumley has asked me for help like a hundred times, and I never help him. I feel kind of bad about it, but at the same time, it's like, dude, are we really that helpless that you can't do anything yourself, Arthur Plumley? All right, let's move on. We're gonna move on. Professor Fig, the keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lord Gok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more. That's what got her killed, though, fact, unfortunately. I'd like to speak with Lord Gok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well, you'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is, so you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing, a polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew. It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his Sneaky behalf. devil, you now, Professor Fig. Time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. Oh. 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 
Hmm. How do you feel? Uh, incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you there. Legend. Now to find the headmaster's house elf. Yeah, this is this is funny. I feel like he doesn't run anywhere, so this is kind of like obvious. Do you have a moment, Professor? Professor. I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp. Places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. <laughs> now, to determine which student gets... Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. This is freaking legendary. Professor Black's got boils. I'm coming, Kagawa. I need to know where my house elf is. Scrope. I mean, out of my way, children. <laughs> Professor Black. How are you, sir? Chewing with your mouth open? Where are your manners? Professor, <laughs> a word? Professor Black? Again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. And I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. <laughs> <laughs> what did we do to deserve him as a head? Uh, <clears throat> I wonder almost daily why I accepted this appointment from the Ministry. We're really uh, fitting into the character, huh? I hope it's not about anything I've been doing. Yeah, we're booking it. Get out of the way, guys. When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I... Professor, uh, a word, please. Mm -hmm. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, <laughs> Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? 
I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. Bro, Professor I've Weasley, you need to chill. Unsettling rumors of their escapades. Professor Weasley, you're snitching. Forest to confront you're snitching, Professor. And Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... um... thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. <laughs> A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig? I shall never find that Another detention! That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing. Professor Black is happy with his uh, Ahem! Attention! Screw! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrub swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. Well, certainly I remember. It's still stronger together, no? Oh. <laughs> Master oh god, we, we screwed it up. <laughs> it's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh. But Master knows that Scrope's French is most <laughs> pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Uh, toujours pur. Ha! Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Or Scrope. Ugh. Imagine having to be a uh, Professor oh, Black. I best get out of sight. Imagine having to be Professor Black's freaking house elf. That would suck butt, man. Ah, <sighs> made it just in time. It's wearing off. <clears throat> Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. I don't even think I know where the headmaster's office is. It's pretty in here. Where's the gargoyle? Rebellion. Great hall ceiling. How do we get to this? Can we can we teleport to it? Doesn't look like it. So we'll just we'll run. We can run. <laughs> How are we liking my, my outfit? I've got the top hat, got the cape going. We're loving, we're loving the, the customization. The other way. Go, go, go. Run, run, run. I'm super excited for this multiplayer mod they have coming out. It's going to be sick. This game would be so much fun to play with other people. Like duel each other and go like just complete some side quest together. That'd be cool. Very cool. Goodness. You gotta go freaking way up here, huh? Trolls. 
control armor. I've always said that travel broadens the Rebellion. Trophy room. Oh, another one. I don't know. We must continue onward. Onward. Onward and upward. This is crazy. He has to make this trek every time he freaking comes back to his office. Good grief. That's insane. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Toujours pure. Toujours pure. Alright, let's go. Oh. Oh. I wonder if all visiting families have a motto. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. Very well, Miss Fitzgerald. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? That must be the pedestal. Nope. Okay, we just got sucked into a book. Seems legit. What could possibly go wrong when you get sucked into a book? The answer is nothing. Where am I? What in the Professor world? Can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Neem. Neem. This is freaking you bright. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. What the heck is the first this? You will need is a cloak. Make your way through the town without being seen. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. What the freak is this, bro? This is terrifying. Oh my gosh. What in the world are we doing right now? Go, 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 go. Quicker, quicker, quicker. We're like in a freaking book, bruh. I should have run when I could. I'd be free by now. This is terrifying. Poor people. Let's move while we can. Neve must be here somewhere. We gotta wait for them to look another direction. Right. I need to time this just right. Alright, alright. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Go, 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 go. Oh no, oh no. I thought they weren't looking. Let's try again. Oh, that's tough. They're gone. For now, I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? Uh, I need to time this just right.
Go, 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 you don't see anything. You don't see anything. I see a staircase straight ahead. Alright, you guys gotta move. Go, 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 go. Oh, this is freaking so stressful. Holy crap. Bro, this is actually scary right now. I'm literally like a, a freaking pencil drawing. But I'm terrified at the same time. What the heck, man? Ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. Oh my gosh. Let me go up the ladder. Go, 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 go. Oh, sweetness. This is my chance. Come and leave. Ah. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. Oh, why am I so freaking slow, bro? That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past. Oh, gosh. They've got a turn. All right, he's turning. Okay, he's turning. Mm. Is he going to turn? He needs to turn. Turn. Nice, 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 nice. Go, go, go. Oh my gosh, it's death. Nothing this way, but more danger. There must be a way to find you. I need to turn back. Uh, There's no getting past them that way. Okay. Oh, I just freaking crap myself. Close tight. No way but forward, I suppose. Dude, these freaking noises, man. Of course, as soon as I freaking dude, I suck. As soon as I freaking go, he looks directly to his right and just freaking stares into my soul. What is that garbage? All right, all right, we got this. Close tight. No way but forward, I suppose. That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. Okay, so we gotta wait till that dude turns the other way. Because apparently he's just gonna look straight at us as soon as we go th go through the doorway. Ah, right. you gotta move, brother. Get out the way, brother. All right, cool. Now's my chance. It's my chance. Now's my chance. God, you're so you're so freaking slow, dude. Holy crap. Oh, that's a person. No, no, no. That's the way forward. Mysterious cloak. Can this be? I think I'm invisible. Cloak of invisibility. Let's go. That's sick. Ah, you they trash. Can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. You guys are trash. 
absolute garbage cans. That's what you guys are. Look at this. Look at this guy. I think he's something. He's literally nothing. You're worthless. You're useless. How do you like it? I can run. Come on. I got cloak of invisibility on. Let's go. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? That was cool. I'm guessing there's more, but that was cool. You have had run death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Oh, great. We have to we fight him now. The wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Mysterious wand. So now we have to go fight these dudes. Honestly, I'd rather fight than just sneak around because sneaking's freaking hard, man. I need to adjust something. All right, let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. Bombada. Yeah, I get smacked, son. Wait, do I have? Okay, no. I literally have to use the spells it gave me. That's fine. What, you think you're hot crap? Oh, we actually do damage, huh? Whoa. We do damage. Holy crap. I want to take this wand back with me. Can this be our wand? Rebellion. What do we say to death? Not today. Let me know in the comments if you understand that reference. Just keep coming back. We just keep going. No. We actually do a lot of damage. What the heck? We're done. Oh my gosh. Yep, we're done. Continue onward. It's a very cool design. Like how they made it like a penciled in kind of look. I like it. Oh, ballsies. Oh, we're actually gonna have to fight this dude? How? Oh. We death stroll? Oh, that does a lot of damage. We're actually spanking them. Why do we do so much damage? Oh, they have another troll. I don't even see what I'm hitting. 
Where are they? Oh, we completed that really quick. Defender. Eat that. We do so much damage. Is this? Is this from the the wand, or do our upgrades give us this much damage? No way, right? It's kind of OP right now. This is cool. This is one of the coolest missions so far, honestly. It's like partly terrifying, especially the one where you had to hide. But it's cool. Very cool. God, why do we all walk so freaking slow up to this thing? It's like dramatic effect or something. All right, Neve, Neem, whatever your name is. What else you got for us? Stone. This must be for me. A simple stone. Is this the artifact? Watch it seems. She's gone. Dear sweet Neve. Dead. Let us no. We won't be the same without Wait. her. Wait. Oh, this is sad. We're we, like reliving her death. You found me. But you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. This is so cool though. Honestly, this is really cool. Remember mm. that as you witness my memory. So now we're gonna see what happens after she takes the pain away, Isadora. Something bad. Something bad, here we go. Let's see what happens. Maybe. Isadora, what you did for your father was remarkable, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits. You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Oh, Neve, imagine the good we could do. 
everyone is in some kind of pain. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Yeah, she's bad. Isadora, you, you greedy, greedy, greedy woman. Isadora, you screwed up, Isadora. Oh, where are we? Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? Yes. It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed. Was Isadora inhaling painful emotions? She was. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing, although I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bacar. Isadora was in yeah, she was straight up to gain gobbling power. up all that she was. pain. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lord Gok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. <laughs> Legend. Legendary. So now we've completed three of the four trials. That's awesome. Awesome indeed. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and end this episode here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We've, we're getting near the end, I think. It seems that way. We've done three of the four trials. Um, yeah, but we'll see you in the next one. I hope everybody has a great day and peace out.